Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Carolyn and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. For today's episode of Beauty and Brews, we're going to be trying something a little bit uh, non-traditional when it comes to the beer world. So if you're into beer and you're into makeup, keep on watching. All right, before we get started in today's episode of Beauty and Brews, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're notified of when I put out new Beauty and Brews, which are which is every Saturday around like 3 p.m., 4 p.m., depends um, on when I get the editing done. So typically it's every Saturday, so keep a look out for those episodes. And if you are into other kind of beauty reviews and other lifestyle stuff, I post about them occasionally as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Also, just so you guys know, I post all the products that I use in the description box below if you are interested in what I'm using. Let's go ahead and crack open this beer. Okay, so this is a very simple beer can design and typically with my Beauty and Brews, I like to create a look based on the can that I've picked out for the episode. So um, with this, this is called Pure. This beer is by a microbrewery in the King Prussia area of uh, Pennsylvania. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Split. Split is where the, you can tell the actress, it's actually based on the area, um, King of Prussia, and we'll say King of Persia or King of Prussia, it's King of Prussia, not King of Persia, and you can tell in the movie, she like, she says King of Persia, and you can tell automatically that she was not from the area and obviously pronouncing it incorrectly, so I just wanted to add that little tidbit in there. But yeah, I really do like this can. It, um, it seems like it's gonna be an interesting beer just because I've never had sake and beer before. I've had, I think, sake before. Um, maybe I even haven't, but this is only 4.1%. And um, oh, you can smell right off the bat that this has like a, a nice aromatics to it and it definitely smells like beer. It says, inspired by the flavors, techniques, and ingredients of Japanese sake. Okay, so it's a take, a beer take, on Japanese sake. And uh, yeah, so it's only 4.1%. It's pure and light, clean, crisp, and full of flavor. A nod to tradition, both supple and complex. So yeah, I'm excited to give this a try. Here's what it looks like, golden in color, very light. A little bit left there. That's good, I, uh, I definitely like that a lot. That's like an interesting, like, texture, like mouthfeel. Although it is very light, it is like not as like beer flavored forward, if you know what I'm saying. Like sometimes beer just has that taste to it. You're just like, yeah, it tastes like can. This is actually really light and crisp. So while I kind of like drink and talk about the beer, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so we can do some makeup. Okay, so I'm not too familiar with what sake is, to be honest. I don't think I've ever had it. So sake is is spelled sake, S-A-K-E, with the hyphen over top of it, and it's made by fermenting rice. It's a really interesting concept to think about for beer, for sure. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a sip again. So I tested out my mic, and I've had this mic forever, so if you hear a bit of a difference in sound quality, you're right, there is a difference. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my sample of Makeup Forever's matte foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Beauty Counters Illuminating Cream. This is a hydrating, luminizing moisturizer. You know, when you like put your makeup on, your skin, your hands are just so cold. It just makes you feel colder. That's how it's gonna be for the next like four months. We don't ever turn our heat on in the house. And if we do, it has to be like a really cold night. <laughs> it's crazy. It's what electric baseboard heating will do. I really do like this beer. It's not bad at all. I like really enjoy the flavor. It's not too like beer forward. So it doesn't get that like metallic flavor. And it has like a slight alcoholic tone, like close to like a vodka, which makes sense because of the it being a sake. And now if I have anyone that follows me that really enjoys sake, let me know because I wanna try some, I think. I just like wouldn't really know which one to get. If you have any recommendations, that'd be really cool. And obviously like COVID cases are going up, so we're not really going out or doing much, at least 
I'm not because I don't have a job. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. So anybody watching any good shows on Netflix right now? Because second lockdown's coming. I need I need recommendations. You know, I hope everyone's doing okay mentally. If you can get help, I definitely suggest doing it. It's scary times right now. So I was offered a part-time position at a company to be an administrative assistant, but I wasn't really like, um, there's a lot of, you know, factors as to why I wouldn't take the job. Obviously, I have a job at a local brewery and that helps give me some just extra cash, which is nice, but I can't afford to lose my unemployment, you know, because just, what's the point of having two part-time jobs, you know? If it doesn't cover everything. If it covered everything, great, I would have been all for it, you know? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use the CoverGirl concealer. This is one of my favorites currently. It's so underrated. I don't hear anyone really talk about it. Ah. <laughs> I had a coaster stuck to the bottom of my glass. There's a subtle note with that beer. I can't really place my finger on like what it really tastes like. There's like no citrus flavors in there. It's very like supple and not in your face at all when it comes to the flavor. It's so good. It's lovely. If I saw that beer out, I, out at a restaurant, I would probably order it because of how like well-balanced beer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little contour. I'm gonna use the Uma uh, Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo in Fair Lady. Now this is an interesting concept for me because I don't normally actually contour and like, you don't need a lot of this product at all. Like that's it. It's gonna be so much. This comes off a little bit more warm than I prefer. Like I was debating on getting something a little bit more neutral tone, but I just decided to get the Fair Lady one. I might pick one up eventually again in the future, but not at this time. Obviously things are tight and this was on sale. So who doesn't love a good sale? Especially in a product you've been eyeing up for like ever. So yeah, you, you can see that kind of reads a little bit more orangey red. For me, I'm not the hugest fan of. When I contour, I usually just do those two spots because my face is really round. I need something to make my face look a little bit more like square. It's not bad. I don't mind this contour stick at all. Should I contour my nose? I don't ever contour my nose. <laughs> more beer, please. Definitely kind of reminds me of like a vodka tonic almost because it's carbonated and you have a little bit of like a lemony flavor in there. You can't really say that it has a citrus tone to it almost. It's it's just that subtle on the flavor. Like it's just so good. It's so light and yummy. Do you think I could finish this beer throughout the making of this video? Let's find out. Prime my eyes with the ABH primer. You guys know this is not my favorite, but I'm trying to use it up. You know? Okay, I'm still working on the show Shadow Hunters. I said this in the last video, it's not bad. It's just some questionable writing when it comes to the show. I think since this beer is like such a light tone, obviously it's white and gray and blue and black. Very simple color palette. I'm gonna use the Icy Fantasy Morphe palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the white in this palette. I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that onto the lid. Do you guys have your Christmas shopping done for this year? I know I told my family that I probably wouldn't get them that much because of the situation I'm in. That's okay, they're fine with it. Taking that gray from the Morphe palette as well and just trying to pack that into the crease. It's not really showing up, is it? Maybe I should break out the Memoron palette? I just received a phone call from a job interview that I did yesterday and they seem pretty interested in hiring me, but I found out that it is another third-party commissions-based job that I'm not interested in. The problem is, is that there are so many marketing, there are so many marketing jobs out there right now, but they all say, oh, it's salary-based when they do like the, you know, pre-phone call, and then they call you up and say, it's actually commission and salary. You only get $10 an hour plus your hourly, you get $10 an hour plus whatever commission you make, and you have to sell at least 15 like products a week. 
I know right there that I would not be good at that job. Back to trying to figure out this makeup look. All right, we're gonna go white on the eyes again. I'm like butchering this pan for this baby blue too. All right, I'm just taking that blue. So basically what this job would be is that you would go to Target and work there throughout the day and try to sell upgrades for people who are looking. Like what if no one comes in and this, like we go in another lockdown? How's anyone gonna make any extra money? Yeah, you'd get a guaranteed $400 if you work 40 hours a week, but like that's just $400. People cannot live off that. Minus taxes, like, insanity. All right, I'm starting there with my eyes because I think I'm going to go in with the Memron palette because, like, why not, right? Like, duh. Like, this palette is, this Icy Fantasy palette is not working for me today. Sometimes it does work really well, but, like, sorry, it's messy, but, like, we're gonna take a little bit of the black. A little bit of the, a little bit of the white, a little bit of the black. Or ever so lightly, put a little bit of water. All right, I'm just kind of like lightening it up on the back of my hand. That looks so much better than what I was working with. Oh my god. You know what? Stick with what you know, Carolyn. Stick with what you know. Okay, that's cool. This is taking me somewhere, guys. I'm here for it. Since I already put that blue down, it almost gives like a really nice layer for this paint. I asked when I initially got the phone call, I was like, is this a like actual like salary position? And the girl's, oh yeah, it's salary. It's not technically salary. Like don't lie to like potential applicants of what the job actually entails. Stop selling them a dream of something that's actually not really, like, healthy. Like, I don't want to go into sales. Like, that's where I'm at right now with job hunting. So, just in case you guys I think it's just really shitty right now, what people have to go through for jobs. I hope everyone's doing well. Okay, that's a little... That's better. <laughs> than what I was getting initially. <laughs> we're gonna take this blue color and we're gonna buff the edges. <sighs> this beer is uh, making me do things I don't normally do. This is not working out in like the best way. I mean, it's all right, right? All right, and we're gonna take this really pretty reflective color here and we're gonna put that in the inner corners. I think this like shimmer is so pretty from this palette. It's like one of my favorite eyeshadow. <laughs> it's like one of my alcohol. Alcohol. Alright, I need something to balance out how like cool toned my face is. So we're gonna go ahead and add a cream blush. This is a peachy pink tone. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just do like a simple gloss from Beauty Counter. Nothing too crazy here. Um, a little bit of mascara. Um, I guess that's better. I used to really like this palette, but I don't really like it. <laughs> I'm putting it away before I toss it out the window. Maybe I will contour my nose. I don't know, it feels very like... I need to use that. Oh yeah, that's better. It's a very creamy highlighter, that's for sure, and creamy contour stick. I would say it's almost verging too soft because it's like you put like the tiniest amount, it's like you add a little bit more and like next thing you know, you're just too much contour in your face and you're like, wow, wasn't planning for that at all. All right, everyone. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a like four point star rating on Untapped. I think it's a really good beer. I think it's a really excellent take on sake. I can imagine sake being a lot stronger than this beer, but this beer is actually like affecting me quite a bit. So maybe it is actually made and fermented with rice. So this gives it that sake like like taste to it and effect by it. So 
yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this beer. I hope you've enjoyed this a little bit of a nutshell kind of episode because this did not go as planned, but I tried to do something a little different when it comes to like my whole setup and how I do my videos. So I hope you enjoy. Please give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this episode of Beauty and Brews. Don't forget to comment down below if you've ever tried sake. And if you like this look, that'd be greatly appreciated. I uh, love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.